So I'm with uh, Howard Quayle at Friday Briefing, and uh, you, oh, I saw you yesterday, obviously, at the uh, yeah. KPMG too, but you, you're, you're back in the reins, you've had your holiday. Yeah, well, week did, and a half did, off. Did, did you actually, do you actually take the full time, by the way, I mean, or do you sort of keep an eye on things even when you're away, or yeah, do you, you hand you, over to, to Al Cannon? To well, in, in this instance, I, I try and delegate to different ministers to give them experience whilst you're away, but... You know, I, I do about an hour a day on holiday, keeping up with emails and, and things that are going on, because otherwise you come back and then you just run ragged trying to catch up. And there, there are some things where you, you need to make a decision. So you can't so. switch off then? You, you keep well, you, I have to say this is probably the most relaxing holiday I've had in a long time because we just didn't go anywhere on the whole. We, we drove around air, local areas, but we chilled a lot. I need, you know, you, sometimes okay. you need to recharge the batteries. So Well, you, you're... People were putting out fantastic information. Seven point four percent. Yeah, I mean, let's break that because immediately people are going to go, "Oh yeah, yeah, spin, spin, spin." And and that's a great headline, right? Mm -hmm. but behind the headline, let's try and delve into it. Where I'm not trying to be too negative, but there's obviously areas that you must concern you still, and I think you alluded to that. Mm -hmm. So should we just put? We'll come back to the good news, but can we just deal with what you want to see improved? Or, you know, in, in our society and in obviously with GDP. Well, obviously, if you look at the 7.4%, um, that's after inflation had been taken into account. That's excellent news. 16 out of our 24 sectors grew, and that's fantastic. But obviously, there was a couple of, you know, some sectors that didn't grow quite okay, so well. Okay, what's lagging or actually well, declining? The, the banking sector um, slightly contracted, but that's been contracting all over the world. And, and I think if you'd analysed when the crash came in 08 and what this, uh, the previous administration had worked on the amount of contraction in that sector, it's nowhere near as bad as what we had sort of factored into the, the equation. This consolidation, though, is it going down to Jersey Guernsey? Is it that sort of... Or are they leaving the well, well, crown well, well, period? No, it's, it's not leaving. It's just consolidating. Mm. The, the, the Vickers license, uh, licensing regime etc that's ha had an impact where they've had to revisit having said that you know there has been growth with some of the banks so it was a small reduction I was I'm not unduly concerned about it but that's I think mining was another area where there have been slight re re reductions but construction had increased now that you put yeah you're making a big thing of that because that, that shows a state of the economy in, mm. in, in trust, I suppose. And yeah. Is that because they're building this new hotel and they're building that hotel? Well, and well, doing well, well that's a, that, that I can think of nearly a hundred million pounds worth of private capital investment in major projects that are being that, that I know I can't announce yet. It's not all of them, but you know, the Mount Murray I went round or Comus as it's yeah. been rebranded. I went round with the owner two months ago now, and you know. It, 12 million plus have been spent then a serious in investment in the but island these things do have sweeteners don't they i mean you, you hand out no doubt that but you know there are incentives to do things like this well so, some of the new developments that are happening yes government will work with with the people but and and some of them the, there's there's no money going in uh, of go government money at all so, so okay so you announced this great increase suddenly in yeah. our, our wealth but the vat is still on going with the uk is this not a bad thing to be flagging things i mean i know you yeah, you can't win on this one, but when will the VAT will it be before Brexit or you know, the renegotiation with the UK on, on, on the VAT agreements? Well, we, we have an agreement with the UK that lasts for a certain period of time. It's and under it, review, isn't it? it? Well, it's under review because you agree a percentage increase of, of VAT every year to and take into account your normal growth. And you then have to go out for consultation and you, you, you then have to take a sort of a snapshot of business and, and what people are spending on the Isle of Man to see whether has that increased as you expected it. And if it hasn't increased, then you have to give some of the money back. And if it's increased more, then you get, you get more. I'm just you? putting the thing in there, you know, if the UK thinks we're having it too good suddenly, they may want to well, no, no, increase the, their the, No, Paul, the, the amount of VAT we get is what the Isle of Man legally is entitled to as VAT generated on sure. the Isle of Man. But years ago we got more than we, yeah, we should it's, have got, right? It's, well, but that formula has been revisited. It's, both sides are now happy with it. And it's, yeah. it's not the UK giving us a cheque to say, here's some money to help you out, it's Chief Minister. It's just our money back, is It's it? our money back okay. that we have generated. And obviously the, the tough element is purchases in the UK onto the Isle of Man, maybe, you know, via the post, etc. If it's been renegotiated, that means the formula is going to be tinkled with, is it? Yeah. I mean, well, the, the, the basic formula is there. All, all you can say is that when you do the formula, an element of it is an annual increase 
to cover inflation or and and you look back to to where, where you are at the moment so let's say it's three percent so you'll factor and right for the next five years we're going to give you your share of the VAT will be the amount increasing by three percent every year but at the end of that five-year period if it hasn't increased by 3%, then we would have to give some of that back. Yeah. And if it's increased by more, then we would get more. And if someone buys something on Amazon compared mm -hmm. to going down the local shops, yeah. which way does that work? Whose favour is that? Or do, or do you get that VAT we, still? We get that VAT. If people that, know about it, though. Yes, that's part, and, and that's why we, we've gone out to the public to take part in these surveys. And that's why it's really important that the people do this to the best of their abilities, because the Isle of Man's you know, formula and the amount of money we share with the UK on VAT, our own response, you know, our mm. own amount, as I say, I just want to stress because I had a UK politician came over here and they'd sort of, they'd been quoting in Westminster that the Isle of Man was receiving, you know, a few hundred million from the UK government as if we were getting some sort of subsidy. Which they might have done years ago under the yeah, old formula, wasn't but, it? But, but, well, no, but what I want to point out, yeah. that this money is the Isle of Man's share of the VAT and it's VAT generated on the Isle of Man by the okay. people of the Isle of Man. It's conference season time. Yep. Which ones are you going to go to and are we covering them all, what, you know, you know, who's doing what? I'm going to the Labour Party conference on Monday. Um, I'm taking um, a, a couple of ministers with me to the Conservative Party conference on the 1st of October and obviously some officers and we've got a number of meetings with representatives of both parties. And no doubt you'll get that snapshot because I know your team are very keen to get the snapshot with the leader but you don't actually get FaceTime with them, do you? Not, re not really, no. But behind the scenes, you get to meet with the movers and shakers, and it, it's getting the Alamans' message over there. It's all about building relationships up. You know, there's not not an awful lot of votes in Westminster for um, looking after the Isle of Man. But if we have a good working relationship and explain the benefits that the Isle of Man gives to the United Kingdom, especially in the north north of, of England, mm. and obviously the, the city, then it's constantly getting that message over, Paul. But also, you, you get to meet the people on, on the fringes, but that can be the new thinking they must, going it forward. It must be con constantly revolving doors of the Brexit thing. I mean, you're meeting people and they're leaving and whatever. But anyway, yeah, so it's, it's just keeping abreast, getting the Isle of Man message over and trying to find out what are the next the, what the next issues are going to be going forward in the in the next year? Okay, finally, uh, it happened fairly recently. The BBC have indicated they may have to now pull out of the over seventy fives, getting a free TV license. They're making, making signs. You, we're just about to get the agreement in place. <laughs> well, we have done. Not yeah, just get, but we, you know what I mean, it has, yeah. it's actually in place now. Is it? Yeah. yeah. If, 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 but what do you think to this? I mean, you know, are you going to be fighting to keep the seventy fives with their free TV? Well. I suppose I've got enough things happening on at the moment. It's a case of let's see what happens. Okay. You know, there's so much sabre rattling going on in my world with Brexit and, and now the BBC over 75s. Let's see what actually happens, and then you know, if, if something does happen, you and I, I'm sure we'll have a conversation about it.